Today, we are going to take a quick look at uh, how to install the SignCut software on your computer in order to work with uh, the CorelDRAW. So you just go to the signcutpro.com website and go to signcutpro.2 and click Downloads. Then we can download uh, different versions of SignCut. Um, I would recommend to download the latest version, although it's a beta version. Uh, the problem with the beta is it will not be signed, so there will be a warning from Windows when you want to install it, but um, you can just uh, install it anyway because it's safe when you download from the SignPad Pro website. Um, your Vulkan flatbed cutter will come with a one-year version of SignPad Pro 2 Premium. After that one year, you will need to uh, extend that software, which you can purchase here directly on the SignPad Pro website. Once your download is complete, you just uh, click the file in Chrome. So here's the warning I told you about. So I click on more information and execute anyway. So now the Sidekick Pro 2 software will install. Just click the yes button. Here I have to uh, agree to the license agreement. I can select whether I only want to install SignCut Pro 2 or also the SignCut Spooler, which is helpful if you have one master computer and then multiple other computers where you're running SignCut and want to send data from one computer to the computer that is actually connected to your uh, Vulkan flatbed cutter. We can select the folder and let's just install it. And once the installation is complete, it will look for Illustrator and CorelDRAW software on the computer and then install the required plugins. What's important for CorelDRAW is that uh, you purchase a full version of CorelDRAW. So do not use the cheap SE version because they lack the VBA scripting capabilities, uh, which means that SignCut will not work and the plugin won't work. So here we can see SignCut Corel plugin it has found CorelDRAW 2019 64-bit, it is installed, all the other versions are uninstalled. So when I click continue, it will automatically install the plugin. Same for Illustrator, there it didn't find a version because I don't have Illustrator installed on this computer. Now, once we're done with the installation, we can click the close button. And now we have uh, SignCut installed inside the CorelDRAW software. So once I start uh, CorelDRAW, it will open and um, in the top menu bar, we will see the, the SignCut plugin. So when I create a new file, A4, here in the top right, we see those three icons. The one is to create uh, contours, the other one will create the registration marks, and this one will send the data to SignCut. So as a demonstration, what we're gonna do is just download any file from the internet. So I'm just gonna Google some some item just click on pictures uh, select any any image we get from uh, from google so this is just for demonstration purposes so i'm just going to save that image now here in crawl draw just select import because it's a it's a bitmap file um, where are we? There we go, there's the image. Just select it here. So now we have our image and now we want to trace around the image. So in order to cut exactly the shape of the image, I select the, the contour feature. First I should select the image, then create the cutting contour. I can select the distance, how far around I want to cut. So um, let's say I want to cut one millimeter around it, with the one millimeter gap, click Create. And here we can see how it created the cutting contour that is some, then supposed to be cut with the Vulcan flatbed cutter. Now in order to send this data to the Vulcan, we need to create the registration marks. So here we just click Create Registration Marks. I can select which type uh, I want to have. So there are many different um, brands available, we select the uh, Vulcan one. I can select the size. Uh, the Vulcan can understand different sizes, but five millimeters is default and uh, will work very well. We don't need the QR code for this. 
but you can optionally, of course, print it together with the registration marks. The X and Y distance is just the distance from your image. So depending on your image, uh, 10 millimeter will be fine. So click Create. And now I have these uh, registration marks around my image. Next thing we're going to do is uh, print the image in order to uh, uh, have the file that we actually, or the, the, the paper that we want to cut, the printed image. So we just hit print. And then here on the right, we see our different layers. So now we have uh, one layer, which, uh, which we can activate and deactivate. So this is the actual image. We can also deactivate from printing. Um, here's the contour. Now in this case, I did print the contour together with it. Um, if you don't want to print the contour that is supposed to be cut, just deactivate the printing symbol here on the right. Now here we can only now see the image. It's of course important that you print the registration marks together with it. So once we're done with that, um, I deactivate the actual image. So I have only the uh, registration marks and my cutting contour. And then I just click Send to Sign Kit. Now I only selected the registration marks, obviously. There. There we go. Ah, yeah. See? I deactivated the printing icon here, which means it didn't send the data to sign card. That's a very common problem that you may run into. Now let's go again. Oh, here we go. We have the registration marks and we have the actual cutting contour. Now, in order to send the data to the cutter, first thing we need to do is select our cutter. So we click the cutter icon here. Here you select as manufacturer the Vulcan. You select your uh, model, which is the FC 500 VC in our case. And then uh, as an output uh, device, you select which USB port it's connected to. In this case, it's uh, uh, the USB 010. So it doesn't require any additional software drivers or something. It will just work directly after plugging it in. If the machine is disconnected, the USB port won't be visible. So it's very easy to find the correct USB port. Here in the advanced settings, uh, we can do some calibrations which are usually not required. So just leave that to the default settings. Same here in the driver setup, with read information. We can download the uh, actual information like the serial number, the mainboard version number, machine model, uh, firmware, and so on. You just don't need, don't uh, change anything here. Uh, by read cutter, we can read the uh, current position of the of the X and Y here. And with the jog cutter, we can actually move the cutter head to the left and right and to the front and back. Um, by clicking uh, in the center, we can adjust the speed between one and 10. Now, once we're done and we're ready to cut, um, all we need to do is here select the contour cut. So this is for regular cutting without contour cutting. But if you want to cut printed materials, you need to select the contour cutting icon. Here we are in the uh, cutout menu. Here we will see a little simulation of what it will actually do and how it will cut our, our shape that we want to cut. So what we're doing now is um, we can go to the advanced settings and uh, there we can see there are two different uh, items. There's the actual cutting contour and this, although it's the same color, it's a different object. Um, these are the registration marks, which we don't want to cut, of course. So um, here in the settings, we select cut and color code, uh, color order. And in the settings for this color, we can now select which tool we want. So if we have an image that doesn't only need to be cut, but has cutting and creasing at the same time, we can select here um, which of the tools we want to use. And uh, we can also add the uh, tool presets. So um, if we read from machine, it will automatically read the current settings. And if we go into the tool settings here, we can store some presets. So here we have, for example, a cutting preset, which is stored uh, with the force and the speed of tool number one, which is usually our knife. And then what we can do is activate the second tool, 
which is usually done for the creasing. So here we can again select speed and uh, force and call this creasing. So just click uh, Save Toolset. And now we have a cutting and a creasing toolset. Um, I always recommend to store these two settings. So here we have the preset cutting. If I wanted to crease instead, I would just select crease and then I would use tool number two. Now we have cutting and creasing. Let's click OK. And then once we're ready, we just need to um, select cut out. Um, then the knife needs to be set over the first mark and uh, we need to click the OK button. Make sure before you click OK that you always activate the vacuum pump because otherwise uh, your media won't be held in place and you can't really start cutting. Yeah, that's about it. How to very easily create a cutting contour for any image that you can download from the internet using a Google image search, for example, and then um, just uh, import it into CorelDRAW, export it to SignCut, and then cut it directly from SignCut. Of course, SignCut offers many, many more different features uh, like reverse creasing, uh, weeding lines, uh, manipulating the images, measuring tools, zooming tools. You can see all that here in the SignCut help section. And uh, here are all the main sections of SignCut. So just go through the help if you need more information. And uh, I hope this video helped you just to get into uh, working with the product and uh, yeah, create your first image just to start working with. Thanks for your attention.